Hey guys, um, I decided to make the final video into a two part like I did last season because basically um, <laughs> the video was going to be quite long otherwise and I wanted to do a bit of an end of season review so um, yeah, we've played the Porto game the live game that this is going to be the FA Cup final game and for those of you who are stupid enough to have looked we are indeed at the top of the pile and we are the champions of Portugal we've just won it by two points after uh, beating FC Porto by two goals to nil uh, there you go we have done the double after winning the League Cup if you haven't watched the first video before this one please do so and you will see um, what's uh, what's occurred we've obviously just lost the Europa League final 3-2 to Real Madrid um, but you know I, I expected to lose and I thought we might lose by more than that to be honest I think we did quite well but I'll just quickly go in and show you the goals Get rid of that noise guys, sorry I've left that on there. Oh no! So the first one was a free kick from Wijnaldum. So the uh, first one was a free kick from Wijnaldum. A superb goal from him. Uh, and the second one... Oh for God's sake! That fucking annoying! So the first one was a free kick from Wijnaldum there, a superb goal from him. And the second one came from January signing uh, Mats Gradle. After they came on the attack, Boularoos and that cleared. Esteban picked up the headed ball back to him from Carrillo. He then cleared out, all swing off found Carrillo, who ran down the wing and sent the ball across. It was knocked out, Elias back to Carrillo, back across and Gradle volleyed it home. A superb um, finish for him for his first goal. Yeah, so guys, there you have it. Championes of Portugal. So, I've played two seasons, won two leagues. Um, I'm probably going to leave Portugal like I left France because I'm not saying it's too easy, but in a way it is. Um, because there's, in France there's only a couple of teams that, that dominate the league really um, on, on FM13 anyway and that's normally Marseille and PSG so I'm, I was manager of Marseille and it was only ever going to be Overalls or them really that won the league so I left in Portugal there's three but Benfica have had a poor season so it was just the fact that if I could get points or three points against Porto and Benfica I'd pretty much um, win the league so I think next I'm probably gonna go to the Premier League in England or Serie A uh, because they're slightly more you know they're more difficult it's more of a challenge over there and it, it depends as well on what jobs come up um, uh, as well I was lucky that um, Sporting Lisbon came up to be honest but anyway, um, let's have a look at the player stats for the league before we go to this cup final and see if we can pull off a treble. As this episode was called, the a quad is uh, about a quad being possible. The quad is on. Um, it's uh, it sh <laughs> I can't really change it now to a treble is on because it will give it away for people um, who haven't watched them yet. So, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm just babbling now. Oh no, I've just lost the plot completely and I'm making absolute waffle up as I go along. Anyway, guys, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm going completely bonkers today. It's gone not feeling very well. So, the average ratings uh, Rojo's are one in the top four. He's fourth with 7.73. Uh, games won goes to, for rules anyway, Jorginho Wijnaldum. Uh, Alex Sandro of Porto is top. Uh, appearances, 
uh, goes to, we haven't got anybody in the top appearances that's interesting normally I have quite a mainstay team that play about 40 games a season but these guys have all played every single league game this season that's impressive uh, top goal scorers uh, Carleo of Martino uh, Martino comes top Oscar Cardoza of Benfica second and joint second is Rip Van Winkle as I call him uh, for us Ricky Van Walswinkle with 19 uh, Porto add Kleber in there with 17 assists we've got nobody in there Carlos Martins of Benfica's top with Joe Martino former Lisbon player in second and in shots and target ratio um, we have nobody in there so yeah there you have it guys pretty poor to have a quick look at the Premier League ba -ba -ba. see you on that when it loads up come on you our dog there you go oh there's a game left in the Premier League so it's out of Manchester United and Manchester City you win it Sheffield Wednesday and Southampton have gone and then it's out of Burnley and Fulham for the final drop spot uh, no major surprises there in the Premier League no disrespect to Southampton here for Wednesday really but uh, yeah you know those are the sort of teams on this game you expect to struggle the player final in the championship very quickly uh, let's just see who's gone up so Sunderland and Watford are in the Premier, back in the Premier League while well, Wigan beating in the playoffs and it's between Huddersfield and Leicester and uh, let's just have a quick look and see how Marseille did they were top for a while I know that oh they finished second three points behind PSG but with Wilfred Boney look at that Wilfred my main man finished top goal scorer and top of the average ratings board and most assists went to Andre Ayew so there you go guys anyway let's get on with this cup final now I've bored you to tears with ramblings and insulted you all by saying gay instead of guy um, let's get on with it so guys here is the team uh, to face Rio Ave I'm a bit peed off to say the least because they've decided to have an international game and they have taken Esteban, Rojo and uh, Sagbo and Gradle away from me so I'm not very happy about this at all um, to say the least um, where's Matthew Hobson so I'm a, I'm a bit I'm a bit peeved really I'm not very happy about it and uh, <laughs> it's really quite annoyed me but anyway let's get on with the game so here they are they have uh, Bojinov up front who I sold to them in the summer so I'm always a bit wary of former players coming back my main concern is this young man in goal it's, uh, he's only young and he's I think this is his debut his debut is going to be in the cup final so you know it's uh, one of those, oh no it's not his debut I would say there wouldn't it but he's not played many games for us but um, yeah so it's uh, it's a bit of a worry we're a bit under strength really we're missing some really key players uh, for this formation and uh, you know for the system I'm playing so it's a bit difficult but hopefully fingers crossed we can get there so come on so here we are Le Fanel playing a few players out of position as well like Insura is a left back but he's playing a central defensive role um, you know it's uh, it's a bit of a pain in the bum um, a good old Ronaldinho is getting a run out. Oh, here they come. Oh, no. Bloody Gelson Fernandez again. He gets booked in the last game. He's forever being sent off, and now he's given a penalty away. And they've scored. There's a bit of a lag going on here, isn't there? Bear me a second, guys. Let me see if I can sort this lag out. 
Yeah, sorry there guys, there was a bit of a lag on that, so I apologise. Um, for that there's a bit of a lag here now as well, this 3D highlight might skip by, yeah. <laughs> sorry about that guys, but it was only a penalty anyway, so it doesn't really matter does it. But um, yeah, so we're a goal down and they are all over us at the moment. Maybe swapping back to this for oh no, oh no, oh two nil, two nil. I knew that having the players missing that we've got missing would be a bit of a a problem for us. Oh, Keeper did terribly. I mean we've got good possession, but they're they're taking chances very well, and we're not playing very well at all. We're not using our possession at all. Oh, so these final games, you're probably going to see two cup defeats now. Marno oh, three, yeah. The goalkeeper's just not good enough, and the defence is really not good enough. We're on the road to a hiding here, guys. This is a very disappointing game. Oh dear me! Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, go on, Ronaldo. Oh, Carrillo. I don't know, Ronaldinho. Sorry, not Ronaldo. Well, I feel I feel like Arsene Wenger must have felt last night, and that's not me having a dig at Arsenal fans or anything. I just because uh, this is recorded the night after Bayern Munich one three one in the uh, Champions League, so it's probably some probably a week or so ago as far as uh, your concern listening at home oh crud let us do the total football shout see if that makes any difference I'm doubting it very very much but there you go the pains of being at a club that have to sell to survive in a way because I had to sell my first choice keeper didn't have enough time to bring in a replacement and the only replacement I have is the guys in goal now. Go on. Oh, Ronaldinho. How did you miss? My life. Well, time is etching away from us here, isn't it? <sighs> this is just heartbreaking. Come on. Let's send on. Let's send on Carrillo. And Mamadou Bar for Fernandez. Oh wow, well, you two are rousing to the really roused for the occasion, aren't you? Pillocks. <laughs> Come on guys. Come on, get one more. At least make it interesting. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, this has been a poor cup final. Really sorry for you guys watching this. Seeing us get turned over well and truly. And seeing us lose two cup finals in two videos. Oh, go on. Oh, we're now done for God's sake. We could have been 3-3 now if Ronaldinho could have finished and Ronaldo could have finished. Those were two poor finishes. Well, we've done the double. Oh, that's so annoying. I blame international football for that because we, and I shouldn't really probably have paid that uh, Played, played that formation knowing that the player, the three lads were missing but oh, these things happen guys these things happen, I'm not doing a team talk, I'm just getting out of here well Andy Carroll finished the joint top goal scorer in the competition if Bojino hadn't scored he'd have been the top scorer in the competition but there you go guys we have been beaten by the better team on the day 
in front of 51,000 fans. So that draws to the end another season. Um, I do have a favourite goal from this season that I'll probably show you in a second to end the video uh, from a pre-season friendly funnily enough but um, yeah thank you very much for watching guys please like and subscribe and I will see you next season who knows where I will be thanks guys yeah so here's my favourite goal guys it came in pre-season friendly it was a third goal against Olympic Lyonnais uh, scored by Sagbo some nice passing at the back there uh, to get the ball out Adrian feeds it through and then Sagbo smashes it home from distance a superb goal